gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. My name is Dan. My name is Mike. Dan, it's this great looking can of beer we're about to imbibe. Uh, Mike, this can of beer comes courtesy of Steven, <laughs> a.k.a. The Resource. Gifted us just this package out of nowhere. It's and glorious. just appeared on Mike's doorstep with a loud thud. Almost by magic. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, <clears throat> this beer is called Crunchyroll. Love that label. And it's a Japanese rice lager. Mm. Crushable rice lager, they claim. Uh, it's pretty okay. cool. The, so the sushi is like a beer can. Yeah, right? it's That's a pretty great dope. label. Uh, so this is out of the Elvarium Brewing Company, and they're out of New Britain, Connecticut. Comes okay. in at 4.1 ABV, and it was canned on 1-5-2024, so we're about 2, 3, 4, 5... Four and a half months in. Yeah, rice doesn't go bad. Uh, it says crunch. It's once for lunch. This freaking label. Yeah. It has so much stuff on it. Fant it's shiny. <laughs> it it's, says. It's fantastic. It says, I see you checking me out. Why don't we slip away from the party and see how fast you can pound me behind the shed? <laughs> so, what? <laughs> I'm reading this. I'm like, what the hell? The scent in a can of <laughs> Japanese rice lager you can hold in your hands. Oh, wow. Uh, thanks for picking up this can. Clearly, you have good taste and or an attraction to shiny objects. <laughs> By holding this can, you have inadvertently formed a bond with it and imprinted a piece of your soul inside. <laughs> putting this, <laughs> Putting the can down may cause emotional damage to the contents, <laughs> causing it to act out against future drinkers. Please, please keep your new friend cold and consume fresh for maximum happiness. Dispose of empty husk and recycling bin. No tears. I had a rich, fulfilling life. You with you, and nobody can take that away. Holy shnikes. I feel like I just went on an emotional journey. <laughs> That review took me, it was... I feel like I need a restraining order against this beer. That was like a fast action, just like... It started out moody. hard. It's like, it took me for a Tokyo Drift, I'll tell you that much. Holy oh my cow. gosh. Pound you behind the shed <laughs> and a piece of our soul? What the fuck? Next thing you know, you're emotionally anchored to it or something. Uh, Sounds like being friends with me. I got. I don't know how I feel about <laughs> this label anymore. Jeez. It's just yeah. Oh, now that's even cool too. Wow. The barcode is a bowl of chopsticks, like holding up, like the lo, lo mein noodles are the barcode. See, that's what they do. That's what. They that's do. amazing. See, that's what they do. They they abuse you. They give you all this emotional turmoil, and you're about to walk away, and they bring you back in with some cool barcode. That's just... I like everything about this label. I won't be swayed by the beer anymore. I like how they're telling I've stories. I just... In my mind, I pictured Owen Wilson just acting Dan everything out. Dan has been shackled by this beer. I won't be, though. Uh, that looks like a rice lager. Looks like kind of a hazy... Golden lemony straw. The recycling says, I believe in reincantation. It's got a thin film of a head on it. It looks pretty it's fucking pretty amazing. good. That smells like a rice lager. Sorry, I can't make it past the adverts. Oh, I know. You've been pulled in. They own you. Now, basically, you're a piece of property at this point. I gotta hold on to the can the whole time they said so. <laughs> They're the new other half for him. I don't want my soul to crumble. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Very. It's like this very light, lemony, sweet kind of uh, vibe to it. Light, lemony, zest. Little, little pithy, but it's also like, um, is there a little grapefruit in there too? Rice puff cereal. Mm. There's a nice sweet malt to it. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's not, not grainy. No, no, not at all. But I, I definitely get that like air puffed rice cereal. Mm. So as you can see, we keep going. Yeah, like that, because that, that kind of nice fruity essence kind of just chills right there. 
but it disappears right on the back of the pallet. You really can't. Um, it literally says, if I drop this, I formed a bond. It's, in, it's imprinted on my soul. Putting the can down may cause emotional damage. See what you did, Steve. See what you did. Tricks on Dan. Do you think that now you can never hold the? He was in your down. same position. And he's like, I gotta get rid of this. So he sent it to us. Oh, now you're in his it's like uh, it's like the ring. Yeah. Now we got. What, what's that? Else. What's the broad's name for the ring? I don't know. But, Fly face. Uh, no, is it S Samina or Hair. S S Sumana? Sumerna? Hair bangs. I don't know. Yeah. Well, swimmer. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not sure. Sumac. No, that's, Sup, that's, that's poison. Oh, okay. But so is this beer. It's poison juice. <clears throat> what, would you, what would happen years later? I got this like <clears throat> still duct taped to my hand. <laughs> and Steve's like, what are you doing? It's a joke. It, it's not real. I don't want to take that chance. <laughs> I really can't picture you without the can in your hand now. I forgot <laughs> what you used to be like. This is good. It's a good beer. It really is. It is I think it's it's very e it's very easy drinking. Mm -hmm. uh, here's the thing: I, I think if you wanted uh, like a oh, nice just kind of right. a nice light beer, uh, but you just wanted something more, a little bit more flavor. And uh, by more, you mean like to a, go along with the barbecue, like maybe a friendship or a, a relationship with your beer, something meaningful, yeah, deep, mm -hmm. penetrates the very essence of your being. Maybe that. Grasps on and won't let go. You ever have that? You ever had like that girlfriend that just like was so clingy and like stage five, stage five clinger, stage five clinger right here. I hope this is as awkward for you as it is for me. If you'd like to cling to us, down in the description there is a link tree. Cling away. But only after you hear us rate this beer. I'm going to let you rate it first. And I want the... You know what? I'll rate it first because I know the beer's not going to get angry for me at, at my rating. Uh, I will give it a 3.99. I will give this beer a 4.99. Plus, uh, I'll, I'll give you a five. I'm sorry. One. I'm sorry. Did you see that? I give it a four point oh. It just started crumbling. I have no worries. I'm free and clear. Here, here's to making items happy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers. The Grudge.